This video introduces the idea of singular value decomposition, a powerful way of rewriting matrices that has important applications to real world problems like image compression and data simplification. Recall that an n by n square matrix A is said to be diagonalizable if there's a diagonal matrix D and an invertible matrix P such that A can be written as P times D times P inverse. Recall also that if we start with an n by n symmetric matrix, let's call it S, then we can diagonalize S in such a way that P is an orthogonal matrix. The singular value decomposition generalizes these ideas to a general matrix A that need not even be a square matrix. In order to generalize this idea of diagonalization to matrices that aren't even square matrices, we first need to generalize the idea of a diagonal matrix. So up to now, we've only talked about n by n square matrices being diagonal matrices. And we said that a square matrix is a diagonal matrix if all of its non-zero entries lie on the diagonal. So we have some we might have some non-zero entries here, and then we have zeros everywhere else. So we'll say that an M by N matrix, where M and N might be different, is called a diagonal matrix if all of its non-zero entries lie on its diagonal, where the diagonal entries are the entries whose row number and column number are the same. So for example, Here's a four by two diagonal matrix. And here's a three by five diagonal matrix. For an M by N matrix A, the singular value decomposition, abbreviated SVD of A, is a way of writing A as a product of a matrix U, a matrix sigma, and a matrix V transpose, where sigma is an M by N diagonal matrix. V is an N by N orthogonal matrix. And U is an M by M orthogonal matrix. Let me draw these matrices with squares and rectangles to illustrate the dimensions. So here's A, an M by N matrix. Here's U, an M by M square matrix. Sigma is an M by N matrix, just like A. And V transpose is an N by N matrix. And actually V is also N by N. The singular value decomposition has some features similar to the diagonalization of a matrix. Then namely that the middle matrix, sigma is diagonal, and that it's a product of three matrices. In fact, since V is orthogonal, V transpose is the same thing as V inverse. So we could make this look even a little more like a diagonalization by writing this as U times sigma times V inverse. Also, like the diagonalization of a symmetric matrix, the singular value decomposition uses matrices on the outsides that are orthogonal. But the singular value decomposition is different from a diagonalization in that U and V may be different matrices. In fact, if M and N are different numbers, if we have a purely rectangular matrix, not a square matrix, then U and V have to be different matrices because they've got different dimensions. A singular value decomposition has a lot of the same power as a diagonalization does namely the power to write a matrix A in terms of a much simpler diagonal matrix, which is why it has important applications, as we'll see in future videos or in class. For now, let's look at an example of a matrix and its singular value decomposition. Here's an example of a singular value decomposition. We have a three by two matrix A, and it turns out that we can write A as U times sigma times V transpose using these given matrices here. Notice that this last matrix needs to be V transpose, not the original V. 
it's clear from looking at it that sigma is a diagonal matrix. I'll leave you to check, if you want to, that the matrices U and V are both orthogonal matrices. In other words, each pair of columns of U has a dot product of zero, and if I dot product any column by itself, I get one. And same thing for V. I'll also let you check, if you're interested, that this product really does work out to the original A. Now you may be wondering, how did I come up with these matrices U, sigma, and V that work? Well, to be honest, I use software. But there is a method, an algorithm, that will allow us to do a singular value decomposition for a matrix A like this. And I'll show that to you in another video. In this video, we introduced the idea of a singular value decomposition and compared it to diagonalizing a matrix. In future videos, we'll look at how to do a singular value decomposition, in other words, how to find U, sigma, and V, and what some of the applications are.